most beloved attractions in Disney parks around the world have been made even more magical with the technical wizardry of Imagineer Wayne Jackson. Wayne began his Walt Disney Imagineering career as the very first employee hired to WED's manufacturing and production arm in 1965 on one of the last attractions Walt Disney himself personally oversaw. One of the first jobs I remember was we built the prototype auctioneer for pirates. Wayne's ingenuity in the development of audio animatronics created a rich fantasy world filled with entertaining and unbelievably lifelike characters. You know, Walt wanted a shop where if anybody could do anything, and we developed skins, the flexible face skins and the hand skins, and, you know, they said it couldn't be done, and we didn't know different, so we did it. Wayne brought his expertise east to Orlando, Florida, as the installation supervisor for Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom, and spent seven years as a manager of the show mechanical and plastics manufacturing departments. The best of Walt Disney's dream will come true amidst the timeless beauty and rich culture of Japan. Wayne traveled even farther east in 1981, relocating to Japan to help create Tokyo Disneyland. It's a beautiful day here in, in Tokyo Disneyland. It's a sparkling day. I think this is probably one of the best records that we've ever had in opening a theme park. There, he became the director of show and ride production, manufacturing, and installation. To see the real thing from the light and the detail that's been put into this park, it is more magnificent than anything I'd imagined. Known for his patience, kindness, and thoroughness, he trained both Imagineering and Oriental Land Company staff during the production and fabrication of Tokyo Disneyland attractions. You're looking at the most ambitious new theme park in the world, Disney Sea, Tokyo. Wayne later served as director of show systems for the construction of Tokyo Disney Sea as his final assignment before retiring. All told, Wayne devoted more of his career working on Disney's Tokyo projects than any other Imagineer. Wayne spent 37 years as an Imagineer, bringing the breath of life to Disney characters and inspiring wonder for visitors at parks and resorts around the world. There's something new every day, there's a new challenge, there's new things that you're going to become involved with. Uh, you look forward to coming to work every morning. Wayne had a tremendous career as a Disney Imagineer, producing and manufacturing some of the most exciting attractions and adventures in our theme parks around the world. He helped build and install many of the iconic features that have thrilled generations of guests and made it easier for us to keep them running in every park to the delight of millions and millions of visitors. His true impact and influence is measured in the countless smiles and memories of the families who visit our parks every day. It's been 15 years since he retired from Disney, but his work continues to be a great source of fun and joy. That lasting legacy makes his many contributions to our company priceless. It also makes him a Disney legend. So please welcome Disney legend, Wayne Jackson. personnel 
architects, engineers, technicians that made and created these attractions that have been enjoyed by so many millions of people throughout the world and they will continue to enjoy them in the future. At this time I would like to thank everyone at the Walt Disney Imagineering for all of their contributions to all of the attractions that they have been associated with and presented to our theme parks throughout the world. Thank you.